All right, I got it off the trailer. Let the games begin. Well, I got the deck off. Uh, I've got the battery charging. I don't know, I actually put this battery on last night and it's just now I got to 99%. It was at, it wasn't registering last night. So normally when batteries go completely zero dead, there's no bringing them back, but we'll see. If this will hold a charge just long enough for me to do some testing, for me to determine whether it's worth me spending more money on a battery, I'll, I'll know in uh, an hour. So now, this does not have a low pressure oil switch. The uh, seat switch right here is working. Watch that, watch how that works. When you're in the seat, those two contacts come apart. When you get off the seat, it grounds it out and sh it uh, shuts the ignition off, the ignition coil. Stops the spark. That's okay. The, uh, let me see, down here. You see where that brake hits that yellow plunger right there? Right? Let me see if I can point to it. See that gray looking plunger right there? When you press the brake, it presses that plunger and that is a safety switch underneath there and it's screwed in from the bottom so uh, I'm gonna get under there and see if I can get to it and take it out and test it and that's the next thing I'm gonna try man you would not believe what it took to get this switch out of there uh, there's a plate under there that all this and the uh, steering gear that goes down through there and the uh, tie rods they're all connected to this plate and you gotta drop that plate to get to this now I'm fixing to unplug it and uh, take it in there to my tester and we'll see if it's working and my battery is 100% so uh, any minute now I'll be plugging it in all right I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep this right here so you can see what I'm doing Okay, we're going to see if this thing is uh, working. This, this is the uh, safety switch on the brake pedal. And uh, I'll put this over here so you can hear it, maybe. Let me look in there. All right, there we go. So that side's working. Now we're going to try the other side. And it won't work till I depress the plunger. So I'm going to connect these and I'm going to push down on this so the plunger will go in. So this safety switch is working. Uh, the seat safety switch is working. This is working. Uh, my next guess would be uh, PTO switch is, is uh, sending power to the PTO. So I'm going to disconnect the PTO and uh, put that battery in there and see if I can get some, uh, some crankage out of it. I'm going to put this back on. Okay, I got to... I'm going to tell you what I did, but first I'm going to show you this. Uh, this thing. <laughs> okay, that's that's voltage. 235 hours. That's not bad. Okay, watch this. All right, that's all I'm going to do because uh, I'm going to drain this gas out of here. And uh, let me come over here and I'll show you what I did. And I'll tell you why I did it. Uh, I have completely bypassed that safety switch. And I'll tell you why. 
the brake pedal, here's why this thing wasn't working. The brake pedal wasn't pushing this thing in all the way. It was only getting it in about that far. Well, with me playing with this, and I pushed it in about 30 times to try to get this thing to work, and uh, this is before I showed me testing it. So I'm 100% certain this was not making contact uh, until I started messing with it and playing with it and pressing this plunger in and out. So I do not want to put this in. I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to, I'm going to do this upright. I just did this temporarily to see if it would turn over. So that was a problem. So, uh, I'm going to do this all upright. I'm going to drain this gas and, uh, I'm going to drain, uh, drop the bowl in the carburetor, make sure that's not gummed up and, uh, we'll go from there. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta tidy this up first. All right, I'm draining the gas out of it. I've pulled the carburetor bowl off, and this is the uh, fuel solenoid, which uh, basically these eliminate, or are supposed to eliminate backfires. And when you turn the key off, what this does is uh, it shuts the gas off to the carburetor. So uh, this is a real common thing that goes. Okay, I had a phone call. It's a real common thing that goes wrong with these. These go bad pretty often, and what happens is uh, when you turn the key on, this plunger is supposed to come down so the carburetor can get gas. And uh, when these things go bad, they stay in their closed position, and the way you check it is you ground it out against the engine, and then you reach up here and you turn the key on and see if it, uh, if it uh, depresses. Yep. So I'm going to put all this back together, and as soon as all this gas drains out, it's almost, almost drained. As soon as that gas drains out, I'm going to reconnect everything, put some gas in it, crank it up, get it warm, and uh, probably going to change it all. Alright, uh, this hasn't been started in many years, so... Uh, Let's give it a shot.
already worth 200 bucks. I think uh, I'm going to bring it outside and let it idle for uh, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. And uh, drain the oil, change the oil. And I tell you, I, while I was under there, I noticed that I'm going to have to replace the uh, main drive belt that goes from the engine to the transmission. So I'm not even going to bother putting this on. I got still got some work to do. But I was going to sell this. I was going to ask for about 600 with a bagger. But my wife has decided she wants it. So, uh, you know, I don't know what we're going to do with three lawnmowers, but it's a cute little lawnmower. So if she wants it, she can have it. But anyway, I'm going to get it roadworthy. Can't think of anything else to tell you. It, uh, you know, just start, start with all the switches. That's my troubleshooting method. And that's usually what's wrong with these is uh, a safety switch. Uh, the PTO switch is not, is not signaling that it's off. I mean, the switch will be off, but it's stuck on the on position and it's sending electricity to the PTO when you turn the key and it won't start the engine. Uh, low pressure oil sensor, this doesn't have one. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, as far as electrical now, you know, if it's turning over, then you don't have a safety switch problem. You may have a uh, fuel problem or a spark problem. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's it. I'll show you this once I get it all purdy and cleaned up and and uh, new belts on it and new blades and stuff like that. And I'll put the bagger on it just, just to see how a bagger works. Thanks for watching, y'all.